Hey, this is Mel again with Week and Code It. And if you're following along with me in our Minecraft amusement park series here, you'll see that I have now prepared my land so it is nice and flat. Um, you might have noticed a few monsters uh, coming around, and if so, you can easily destroy them. Um, grab yourself a sword. Go towards the bottom under combat and... Um, Sure, a diamond sword's fine, and throw it in one of your slots. And if uh, a monster comes at you, you can attack it. Right now, we're going to talk about redstone as the night is setting. And I'll pick up uh, after daytime here. Um, what you want to do is gather some redstone items and place them in your inventory. So let's go over to search for a second. And you can either find redstone items by typing in redstone to the search. You'll see some pretty uh, standard ones. This one is redstone dust. We're going to use that a lot. This is a redstone torch. You're also going to want to grab that. And for the start, we're going to also grab a redstone lamp. So you can easily do this by left-clicking again and then putting it in the slot where you want it. Left-clicking, putting in a slot, left-clicking, etc. Okay. So let's get those three items out. Some redstone dust, a redstone torch, and a redstone lamp. And have those in your inventory. Okay, so back in the daytime. And what I'm going to do is uh, press the number one key that corresponds to my redstone dust in my inventory slots here. Now I'm going to play some of this. You're going to guess what redstone represents. I'm going to push um, my right click, um, my right mouse button to uh, place a line of this redstone dust down. Now at one end, I'm going to put a lamp. Okay, so a redstone lamp is going to go at one end. So I'm going to right click there, and at the other end, I'm going to place my redstone torch. Now, look what happens to the redstone dust and the redstone lamp. Is this analogous to anything you are aware of in real life? How about electricity? How about plugging a lamp in to your wall outlet? to get an electric charge. And isn't electricity data some kind of value that we're passing? Well, that's exactly what we're doing. We are charging our redstone dust. And our redstone dust, in this case, is acting like a conduit, a wire that powers our lamp. Got it? So redstone has some interesting qualities to it. I'm going to destroy this lamp by, whoops left-clicking on it here, and I'm going to go ahead and choose my redstone dust again. So let's see how long this redstone wire will allow us to conduct electricity. So far, I have it in two blocks. Let me keep placing it. In three, four, five, Let's, I'm going to make a turn now. Six, seven. Notice it's getting weaker. Eight, nine. Let's make a turn. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, it looks pretty weak. Fourteen. And I'll make a final turn here. Fifteen. What happens at sixteen? Hmm. I want you to take a look at what happened. It's pretty strong at the start. It gets weaker, and you could tell by the color it's getting darker. It feels dimmer, doesn't it? And at that 15th block, it sort of starts petering it out, um, petering out, and it's dead again at 16. So it lasts 15 blocks. That's how long you can have uh, redstone wire without a repeater, something that makes its signal stronger or something else that acts as power. So this is the first lesson I want you to learn about redstone, that there is a length and it gets weaker over time.
okay? And the, uh, by, and it goes up to 15. So we're going to pause here and I'm going to have you play around.